Hi, I'm Sherry in store at Jones Sewing Back. I'd like to show you how easy it is to use a computerized sewing machine. Today we're working with the Singer 7466. Okay, first we'll just stitch our straight stitch. You just touch the button, the stitch is there. You slide your stitch length button over until you get a green light. Um, if you go clear to the yellow or the red, red means it's not a good stitch to do, yellow means it's questionable. But if you're in the green, you're good to go. We'll do the same thing with our stitch length or width. Sorry. And then we'll sew our seam and see what we've got. On this machine, we also have a reinforcing stitch. I'll touch that one. Same thing, I'm going to bring my stitch length over to a green. Here we have our standard stitch and the reinforcing stitch. This stitch is the same as doing three rows of stitching, but it does it at one time, so it's a thicker stitch. We're going to start try a zigzag stitch. So we just touch our stitch button, find our green area, and stitch it out. If you want it to be a little closer together, we'll just take that a little closer in if you're mending. So you can make your zigzag stitches as close or as far apart as you want them to be. Okay, let's play with some of the fun stitches. You have lots of decorative stitches you can use on this machine and they're easy to do. Just choose the one you want. Okay, so we'll choose our stitch. We're going to do stitch 32. So you don't have to change your stitch length to do your decorative stitches, but you can change your stitch width. So find the green area and let's try that and see what it looks like. So the Singer 7466 is a computerized machine and it's not hard to use. Um, this is Sherry in store at Jones Sewing Back.